Time for a celebration. We've hit 1,000 subscribers and you guys asked us to carbonize a two-tier cake. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. My 13-year-old was excited when you guys chose to do the two-tier cake. She loves baking. So she made this all on her own. She did two different tiers and even made these sugar glass flames on the top. Now it's time to load the cake in the retort. Time to light the candle on this cake. This wood's a little wet. We just put the chimney on and it's producing a lot of steam, but it is producing some volatile compounds that we can actually light with this lighter. Now it won't stay lit because there's just too much steam right now, but what should happen here in a minute is this whole chimney is gonna ignite and we'll have flames out the top. We've lit the candle on our 1,000 subscriber cake. Thank you all for joining us on this journey. Stay tuned to see how the cake turned out. Let's see how the cake did. Oh, wow. The structure of it really stayed together. We're gonna show you a full 360 of the cake. And I'm very proud of my daughter. She has learned how to bake and she was very excited to make a cake for you guys. So my daughter used like a, a gold drip here on the top and then the sugar glass flames she inserted here and you can see it kind of trapped some of this um, food grade gold paint right here. This is the top tier of the cake and you can actually see the two distinct layers now. And there's the wooden dowel used to hold the uh, structure of the cake together. Then we've got the bottom tier right here. This is the top layer of the bottom tier. And then there is another layer down there below with a lot of buttercream. She used a piece of cardboard for the cake board and you can see it right here. So what we believe happened is a lot of the buttercream and then that sugar glass just kind of oozed off the side and then caramelized down here and then turned to char. Now overall we've got a lot of different colors here. We've got obviously the black from the char but we've got a, some bronze here from the buttercream and sugar glass and then a very glossy color right here in the layers and that's where that buttercream was. There's even more of the cake in the bottom. Look at that. I wonder if this is the sugar glass that overflowed off of the pan and went to the bottom of the retort. So before we disassemble this, let me know in the comments if you think it got carbonized all the way through. Here we go. Oh, this is the buttercream. All right, let's see if we can get this off. No, I don't think we're gonna be able to. It is a solid chunk. We can break off a little bit of the edges and the buttercream. This is the corrugation from the cardboard. So this is cardboard right here. And then we've got buttercream and sugar glass that fell down and caramelized. So this is very fragile. And this is the cardboard. I think this is actually just sugar that came down and caramelized against the pan. Yeah, this looks like the sugar we've had from other experiments and it gets this little shiny and almost white color. And you can see through it here and that's likely from where the sugar bubbled and then popped and then it carbonized this structure in place. So this will just break just like glass. So these pieces here, the sugar sound like metal. Sounds like little pieces of metal. This even looks like metal, but it's just cardboard with uh, sugar on it. We're gonna look at the main body of the cake now and see if it carbonized completely through. There's the cardboard cake board. The edge of the cake. It still feels pretty heavy, so I'm really curious if it carbonized completely through the middle. Let's see if we can slice it open though. I think we're gonna have a hard time with this. I'm gonna try to cut between these two layers. No, it's, I'm not gonna be able to get that. And it did not carbonize all the way through. I could kind of tell from the weight of it that it, it hadn't. 
To get it to carbonize completely, we would have to run it for a, a longer time and or a higher temperature. So the cake obviously did not carbonize completely. We got the pretty colors here on the top from the uh, gold drip and the sugar glass. This is likely from the sugar glass and has little bits of the cardboard. And here's the underside of that sugar glass and then the edge of the cake. Each one has a little bit different texture and a little bit different sound when you drop them. Let's see how each one sounds as we crumble it. After the experiment was over, we found these in the bottom of the retort. And I believe this is the sugar glass that melted, overflowed the pan, and then landed on the bottom of the retort. And it, it sounds like and feels like pieces of metal. Thank you to all of you who voted in our poll on what we should carbonize next. Cake won, but lobster was a close second, so maybe we'll do that in the future. If you have any other suggestions, just put them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.